Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Goodman. Over there, we have John Linda. How are you doing, John? Hey, doing well. Hey, John. How was how's your uh, Saturday been? Good. Went to a car show earlier. <laughs> then I, I went for a walk in the practice scrimmage. Yep. Yeah, I, uh, I I went for a walk. Um, yesterday I took the kids out for a you know, little jog, a little walk. Yeah. I was a little active yesterday, made lunch today, then watched the scrimmage. Yeah. We, we had some fun today. Um, yeah. We are from Milwaukee to Nashville, and uh, one of the things I want to get into before I even talk about our sponsorship um, is, is the rookie camp or development camps or any kind of camps like these how important they are to development of your players. Right. You draft a guy 27th overall in the first round. You can draft a guy 14th overall. Or like Nail Yakupov, you can get drafted number one overall and be a complete bust. Right. But if you don't take the time to develop the player, you're not going to be able to develop the player into having a professional attitude, which is right. Like in the AHL, in the ECHL, they teach those things. They do. Active in the community, how to do these things. Things that are not really done much overseas. Activism is a very heavy part of the North American game. <coughs> Sorry, folks. Um, now, uh, we, we have this. These are so important because it may be the first and only time these guys get to wear one of these. All right. It's so important that they get to do it as well. You know, and and like I was saying uh, to John in our pre-show meeting, um, some guys go to development camp, never get a shot. Some guys right. go to development camp and it's the only time they ever wear an NHL jersey ever again. Yeah. Um, it's just one of those things that, you know, when you're in this situation where like COVID and everything, and protocols and everything, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? What? Yeah, sorry, guys. Really tired today. I told John that before the show. Yeah. Um, why are we doing all these things? We're trying to get as close to normal as humanly possible. Right. And that's how important this is. It's 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 important that me and John get the opportunity to, to cover these because just like players, we have rust. Right. <laughs> We're not used to covering games, especially this is a different challenge because these are games with no stats. Right. And we can go back and look and see who scored when and what and who had the assists and the stats weren't really tracked. Right. Um, we can only tell you who stood out, you know, and right. that's really, it gives us a bit of an edge. Now, speaking of getting an edge, um, you can get your skate sharpened at our sponsor, Hockey Locker, 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Um, so as I was saying, I had to cheap, cheap, cheap pop. <laughs> Where's Mick Foley at? <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, but no, uh, for those that have been wondering what we did yesterday is yesterday was a lot of figuring out how we were going to work this weekend. Yeah. Because I'm kind of swamped right now with personal stuff at home. Um, I'm working with my son on learning how to walk, uh, changing from bottles to sippy cups, you know, being a dad. So, right. you know, I'm I enjoy because I get to work for a moment. I get to do those things. But when work consumes over family, that's when I get a little frustrated. And um, I haven't been frustrated. I'm actually looking forward to this hockey season. Uh, there's a few players that I've got pinpointed that uh, I'm looking forward to seeing if they don't make Nashville's roster. Right. 
So I'm going to go off of that list real quick. And then I'm going to go to the guys who really, the guys I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing. And then there's guys I'm, I'm, I'm iffy on. And then there's guys they're probably going to be in the ECHL somewhere, in my humble opinion. All right? So, guys, I'm really looking forward to seeing. Um, one is Tomasino. He played very well. Looks like he had a bit of stage fright, but it could yeah. be legs, too. He hasn't, they, they really haven't had their legs under him. Um, per the normal year, you'd be able to skate as much as you want, given COVID protocol in Canada. Most rinks aren't even open. Right. So it, it is really like skate when you can kind of thing. Uh, for that, Mars blades really do help. Right. Um, yeah, given everything going on. I uh, given everything going on, I have a lot going on, and you know, uh, today's been one of those tricky situations. Um, another player I really liked how he played physically was Zachary LaRue. Yeah. Uh, when we drafted him, that was one of the things that we said was about his game was he was a very physical two-way player. He took some shots kind of far away. I'd like to see him get a little closer. Right. Than that, but you know, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, they're, they're back tomorrow. Um, on the defensive side, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing Mark Delgazio. Uh, he's about the only defenseman that I didn't really see have really have a problem with much. Right. Um, everybody else kind of looked like, why am I here kind of thing. Yeah. Um, as far as goaltending goes, uh, the better of the goalies was Tomas Vomachka. Um, Cooley showed up, but he left way too many rebounds. Yeah. And that burned him. But Machka is inexperienced. He has a valid excuse. Cooley played a whole year last year in the ECHL and played three games in the AHL. He has the experience. He has the ability. Right. He does. See where that gets him. All right. Uh, beyond that, um, the guys I wasn't really impressed with, one was Jake McLaughlin. Jake McLaughlin, every time I saw him, he just looked, looked uh, kind of not in it. And if you do that, you're not, you're going to find yourself not on a roster. Right. Um, the other guy, whoo, the other guy I was not too impressed with was Kyle Jackson. Was not impressed. Uh, yeah, he is. He has a tryout, but this is your time to take your chance. It is. And and you didn't take your chances. Um, you know, it may not be part of your game, but you got to be physical. You, it may not be part of your game, but you got to back check a little harder. You got to show to the coach that you want to make, if you're on an invite, you want to make Milwaukee's roster. Right. At that point, you want to get a call back maybe next year if you're, you know, I don't know. It's, it's just way, way complicated. Yeah. All right. So, like I said, we are back tomorrow at uh, 10 o'clock against the Panthers in the morning um so hopefully we'll be done a little earlier tomorrow um i thank the the lightning organization for doing this yeah um, are the ones who are uh leading the way for this uh development camp and uh it's very important um one of the things i wanted to say was defensively they played very poorly I agree with that. I mean, you have guys going behind the net, and you have one defenseman back there already. You send a forward to pinch, and you leave the other defenseman to make sure the front of the net is cut off in case they try to pass to the front of the net. We had guys like Ference and McLaughlin going behind the net to help pinch, and it, it wasn't working, and it was leaving the front of the net wide open, and they right. were getting shots. Thank God Cooley knew how to stop him after a couple times, but right. 
it, it was literally, uh, you have to learn to fix this or work. It's going to be a long season here in Milwaukee. Right. Now, as much as it is, could be a long season, the luxury for them is it's a long season. So, well, there's room for improvement. Yep. Always room for improvement. Yes. Um, I uh, Like I said, we are looking to see what happens tomorrow. If tomorrow's not any better, Tuesday will probably just take the day off. I know that that sounds harsh to the Preds, but um, we've got to start prepping and doing our work for training camp, getting graphics and stuff done for training camp for our YouTube series. Um, so we have a lot going on. Um, we're going to be trying to be Facebook Live as well during that time. Yeah. Those games, we're going to be doing a lot right now. We're just get get through rookie camp. Uh, rookie camp will be done over Zoom uh, until after I get everything over here situated. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, told everybody a few videos ago, I was going to have a big announcement. All right, so I'm going to tell you guys a little insider on me. If you're wondering why I may not, sometimes my head may not be in this, it's because I'm expecting another baby. Well, not me, but my wife is. <laughs> um, my family is expecting another baby, and, uh, um, you know, it, it really, after what we went through with Alex, scares the heck out of me. <laughs> Um, so if my head's not in it, sometimes it's because I'm worried about my family. It's where, you know, and I worry about John and his family over there as well. John's had some uh, health issues over the last months. Um, oh, yeah. I thank everyone for all the support that we get through these. Yes. That it really does keep us going. Speaking of 1,500 likes, 1,600 follows. Y'all rock. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Um, on that note, I'm being signaled to be done. So, as I said, it's time to be a dad again. So I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Um, that's all we have. Uh, tomorrow, yeah. hopefully, we'll take better notes. <laughs> right. <laughs> like I said, we have rust as well. Um, we're just working on what we can right now. I'm working with what we got, giving you the small details, the guys who stood out, the guys who didn't. Um, also, another guy that stood out, Igor Afanasia. Igor yes. Afanasia is a very good hockey player. He will do very well in a system with Carl Taylor. I could see him of being a slightly better version of Tanner Janot, maybe even working with Tanner. You put him with him instead of Olivier, and oh boy, you know? You never right. know what can happen in these days. So right now, um, I know we got some stuff me and John have to tend to today to get ready before hockey season starts. So I will chat with y'all later. Hopefully, maybe we'll even be live one day this week. Hopefully. 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 Um, thank you for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by Hockey Locker. For Dan and John, enjoy the remainder of your weekend if you don't see our videos tomorrow. Thank you and have a wonderful week.